good, YouTube? It's your boy, Super Swag 95, and my boy, uh, Water Bottle Lover 42. I fucking love Wolf Balls, dude. I caught out myself. And we're here for another great episode of uh, Digimon Dark Rising Cooperative Nuzlocke Soul Link versus. Uh, and that's the end of the joke. Welcome to the Cyber Sleuth LP that we're recording on April Fool's Day. <laughs> oh, man, those tweets I put out physically hurt me. Dude. Because it's I like, mean, I, I know they're fake, but like, I don't want people out there thinking I actually like Lupat, man. Right. I can't it's have like, that, that, that demon It's a bad precedent. Someone's going to think that you really do like that shit, and then you'll be fucked. Right. Uh, somebody's about to be triggered if they watch like the last episode <laughs> before this. Um, right before watching this one, because they're like, no, you're going in the wrong direction. I know, I just need to change my outfit. <laughs> Some, somebody in the comments said they liked the side pony, and I remember there's a Gatomon shirt, so... Oh, shit. There we go. Well, there we go. Although I don't... Oh, uh, the pink and the yellow is ugly, but it's fine. It's not great. It's, Can you change the tights, or...? No. <sighs> nope. Bad game, 0 out of 10. Yeah. Never want to play it again. It works better in Hacker's Memory because his pants are black, so it goes with everything. So, um, obviously, these LPs deteriorate from actually focusing on gameplay to whatever dumb bullshit we're talking about pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. But, um, so, you know, I think it was, I think it was on the, the Cyber Sleuth LP, it might have been the Final Fantasy X, uh, we talked about the song X's and O's by L. King. Yes, I don't know what, it's, what that's from either, but I remember talking about that. Do you know, don't Google it, do you know who her dad is? No. The woman who sang the X's and O's song? Oh, I feel like someone has told me this before. I found out literally the other day that her dad is oh. Rob Schneider. Ow! <laughs> Yeah, I think Maggie told me that. that I, <laughs> now that I know who it is. You need to, if you've got a famous pirate, like, you need to go one of two ways with it. It's either, like, you fully lean into it and call yourself El Schneider, or you completely pretend that they're not your dad. And, like, finding out that someone that's done a song I like's dad is Rob Schneider Man, really fucking ruined my day. I, I have such a hatred towards Rob Schneider. I, and I, I wish I could say I don't know why, but I do know why. <laughs> it's just, he's not talented. <laughs> but like, he's, just a piece of shit. he's more famous than I'll ever be, and you don't know how that hurts. <laughs> right, when someone's just like, 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 it's James Corden, right? Oh my god. Like, I've got oh. everything James Corden's got, and more, and yet. <laughs> right? I've, I'm British, Have you heard I'm about the, the James Corden plane story? That he did 9-11? No, yeah. I wish, but... <laughs> you wish he did 9-11? Wouldn't that be funny? That's kind of <laughs> fucked up. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, go on, carry on. Apparently, somebody was on a plane, and James Corden was on the plane with him, and there was this lady sitting next to James Corden who had a baby, and the baby was crying, and she was expecting James Corden to have, like, a, a, like a big freak out over this baby crying the whole time. But... You know, I have heard this. Yes, Kyrie. It was very chill. He just put his face mask on and went to sleep for the whole like six hour flight. The kid screamed the whole time. Uh, and then once the plane lands, this person overhears that it was his baby and that was his <laughs> wife. He just left his wife with the screaming baby for a six hour flight. What the heck? <laughs> First of all, I totally forgot that was our party and freaked out for a second. Uh, second of all, yeah, that, I mean, it's probably not true, but it sounds like such a James Gordon thing. Oh, I, I, to just be like, oh, it's fine, don't worry, I'll just ignore the baby. It's your baby, James! It's your baby, James! It does sound super fake, but I hope it's real. I really hope it's true. And that also brings me up to the other thing I wanted to bring up. This isn't like a thing that I discovered, I just it was just a funny thing I was thinking of. Uh, so you know they're doing the new Batman movie with Robert Pattinson? Yes. I'm like sick of seeing people online being like, Oh what, the Twilight guy? Oh, vampire, now Batman? And I just thought, like, I'm not gonna do it because it's Twitter and it'll get... Like, people will be, won't understand it's a meta meme. But I thought it'd be really funny if I just started exclusively referring to Robert Pattinson as the 9-11 movie guy. <laughs> 
like that cost him the 911 movie guy as Batman? The That's fuck? Crazy. I can I would never support the 911 <laughs> movie guy. Not my like, what Batman. What acting rage has he got after the 911 movie? Right. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? I have not. I think we talked about this movie in another episode, too. Oh, God, probably. It's like poetry, it rhymes. It's just so fucked up. It's just a normal movie, and it's, like, also bad. It would be like if Titanic was called, like, I'll Always Remember You, and it's, like, a completely unrelated boat adventure, and then the last ten minutes is like, by the way, Titanic! Oh, God. <laughs> It's, it, that'd be what Pearl Harbor was like, except for the movie's literally called Pearl Harbor. Yeah, if they'd have called Pearl Harbor anything, I was like, oh, that movie's fucked up, man. That movie's so bad. I, I, what's, like, the time period from something being like, holy shit, like, we can't even, like, reference this, really, to, like... Michael Bay making a uh, million dollars off of racist propaganda. <laughs> right, like, how, when, when does that sliding scale, like... When does that start to be okay? Like, at what point did the Titanic go from the Titanic to... Like, oh, Leo DiCaprio getting his cock out. I haven't seen it right. in, like, 20 years. Right? I, I gotta think, like, imagine being back then and, like, making a Titanic joke and your friend is like, hey, hey, whoa, too soon, too soon. <laughs> too soon, bro. Too soon. And then James You're Cameron quite is the like, edgelord. hmm... <laughs> That's a fucking. Uh, I'm, I want to talk more about Digimon, but while we're on the subject, Titanic is like a really. It, James Cameron made that movie not because he's like, wow, I, I'm like really into telling the lives of people and stuff. He's just super into diving into the ocean. Like he can't be stopped. <laughs> he's like, he's like every opportunity. He, that's why Avatar Two's taken like 15 years. Every time he's supposed to direct the sequel, fucking James Cameron is hopping in a submarine and going down to the Titanic again. <laughs> wait, wait, really? <laughs> like pretty much. <laughs> like he just doesn't want to direct movies anymore. He just wants to keep going underwater. I mean, and like he, if my he just if my ma he makes director money so he could do more diving. Oh god. If if my if I had to make Avatar two, I would I would want a submarine instead too. Yeah, I'd want to just go down into the wreckage of the side and be like, ah, something good. Do you uh you remember that episode of Community where uh, Britta dates the subway guy, but he's now the oh, yeah. uh, Honda guy, and she says she doesn't like Avatar, and he goes, whoa, 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 no, we we love Avatar. It's a great movie. <laughs> he's like, we need to love everything that everyone else loves. Jesus Christ, that's a, that's another one that dropped off. Like I don't understand why people care about Avatar. Me neither. At all. Every time people are like, "Oh, we're never gonna get Avatar two. This sucks." I'm like, "Why do you care?" <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, look, it's not a villain. This this dude's like such a good guy. <laughs> he walks so weird. <laughs> he walks like he shot his pants. Oh, I'm like a big stinky. I mean, big poopy in my pants. You ain't seen any Digimon around here? Oh, I chose the wrong day to be wearing an all-white suit. <laughs> oh no! Well, if he if he pooed himself, we'd have seen it. So evidently, he's done a big cum in his pants oh, instead. Oh no! That's why he wore white. <laughs> yep, he knew it was coming. I mean, if, literally. If I saw Aunt May wearing a Gatomon T-shirt, I'd be in the same boat. I mean. <laughs> Just with the Gatamon t-shirt, nothing to do with Aunt May. Yeah, not, nothing to do with Aunt May at all. If Arato was wearing the Gatamon t-shirt, I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Also, Arato also, uh, is shout out. wearing a, yeah, a one piece. Yeah, <laughs> A big old jumpsuit. Oh, yeah. With, like... <laughs> there's this, like, anime slash video game fashion where there's a JoJo character that's very similarly dressed, and it's like... Other than to look cool, what was the thought process behind this outfit? <laughs> I'm going to wear a jumpsuit, and then I'm going to wear this hoodie that only zips from the neck up. So, that's how I feel about uh, Rina from... Uh, she's in, like, every Digimon game now, but she started off in Redigitize. She's got, like, the, the hoodie, but it's zipped at the bottom and at the top, but the, <laughs> her stomach and chest is exposed. Yes. So you just put that on, and you were like, "Let me just zzz, in and zzz. It's like it's like she put it on normally, and then she's like, oh, "It's a bit warm today, isn't it?" Like specifically on my midriff. And yeah, let me just ah, there we go. Um, Iris and now actually both these. Oh no, no, I'm thinking of Nokia. Oh no, no, we do, don't we? Does the female protag have a card, or is it just the male protag? Uh, 
Uh, no, just male protag. Just male protag. But Arata's got some cool Karamon tech. He does. Which I'm a big fan of, I apart from when I have to play against it. I don't know why they didn't make it, uh, because that, that same set, they introduced Double Tamer, so I don't know why they didn't do, like, Takumi and, I think, Amy is her name. Would have made total sense, mm -hmm. for sure. Just to have them, like, on the same card. Yeah. There's a, They're obviously saving her for Battle of Alpha. There's a Cyber Sleuth promotional image where uh, Terriermon is cupping the main, the, the female protagonist's <laughs> breasts, and it is, it is interesting. <laughs> Did not think my man Terriermon would like that. Like, hey, a moment time, all right? <laughs> moment time, baby. Don't worry about it. He's like, I spent all these years pretending to be a plush doll. Now I'm out of the house. I'm gonna touch me some titties. You know what? We could all aspire to be a little bit like Terriermon. A little bit like him. This cuts oh, so Terriermon. No Terriamon dim I with know. the uh, the new Gushapon stuff. I'm thinking the reason that I'm thinking that is probably they're gonna do a Terriamon Lopmon set. Yeah, it would make it. So, oh, dude, it, I, they haven't debuted new Digimon so far, as far as I'm aware. But if they debut Terriamon Lopmon with the DNA Digivolution of the two of them as the Mega, Ooh, that would be. Or as the Ultra, rather. That would be sick. Every uh, every DIM card except for. Um, Impulse City and uh, Ancient Warriors has um, a, a, a DNA digivolution to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Although I'm really frustrated by Agamon and Gabamon because Crest and Blitz can't warp, uh, can't jog Crest together. Yeah, that's that's weird. I mean, I get because you know Omnimon's there, but like, don't include the other Omnimon people then. Right. Yeah. Don't like just just do different lines for them. Oh, apparently, the, uh, apparently when we got in that going. battle, we had hit the place where we transitioned, but... Ah, that's cool. I was wondering what happened there. There was like a weird, like... Broom. Yeah, I didn't move at all. Oh, th this stage later on is so annoying because this part opens up. Or... Oh, God. Oh, no, this is the annoying part. Never mind. <laughs> you gotta get, like, a card, and then there's, like... It, it's like, oh, if you go here, you can go here, but if you go to this one, it opens up three other doors, but only one door's the right mm -hmm. way, and you'll go backwards... I think I said it possibly even in the last part of, of this LP, but I think these, like, um, I can't remember what the actual name for them is, but the ones that are like half real world, half digital world, are like the most visually interesting stages in the game. Absolutely. Uh, they still kind of ultimately end up being corridors, but it's at least prettier corridors. That's why I can't wait for I was... Survive, because Survive is supposed to be all like half real, half digital. Yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to think like what I wanted because I couldn't exp like uh, explain why it felt kind of like the rooms were just corridors and obviously they are but like that's not necessarily a thing that JRPGs don't do and maybe like Hacker's Memory or later parts of the game do it but I'd like just a little bit of environmental interaction like it would be cool if in this stage like a half glitched bus was like preventing you from moving uh, and then you had to do something. There's a little bit in later on in the game yeah. Not nothing crazy, but like. Mm, I feel like that would just make like running around uh, dungeons a little bit less boring if there was more kind of, like I don't know. Have you played Final Fantasy VII, the original one? Yes. There's like Ooh, a bit, and uh, there's a bit in remake as well where you have to like move hands to form a bridge in like the junkyard. You have three memory ups I haven't used. Anyway. <laughs> oh hell yeah, dude! I think we said as well. Let's not forget to do that after boss battles. But there we go. <laughs> Uh, I think I just like a little bit more like dy dy dynamis dynamism. So that's probably not a word, but we'll work on it. Yeah, it it, does, it makes it a lot more fun than just like walking around, running into battles, mm -hmm. doing nothing. Oh god! But then conversely, you get those games where you just have to do like really annoying bullshit every time you go through an area, and it's like, oh. it's 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 not fun. It's not fun. But you know mm. what? It's got Digimon in it, so I. Can't complain. Can't complain. Shoutouts to Hunter, I, by the way, for forgetting about Gardramon. You're dead to me. Can we can we fucking talk about Hunter for a minute? <laughs> he says every LP. <laughs> so, by the time this is out, it might already have started. Uh, but Kingdom Hearts came out on PC, and me and Hunter are going to do KH2 as an LP. And the motherfucker decided, in his infinite wisdom to start an action RPG on keyboard and mouse. Why is everyone making fun of me? It's not that weird. 
<laughs> I already played it on controller. I'm gonna try yeah, on keyboard. I've already... Like try it once for half an hour, baby. That's it. I've I've played this game already with a controller. You don't see me hooking up my Guitar Hero controller, being like, right? Let's switch it up a little bit. Well, I already made mac and cheese in a pan, so this time I'm gonna make it in my mouth. Like, no, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna pour boiling hot water in my mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I would have forgiven him if he had made the joke because it's a keyboard. Keyboard, right. keyblade. It was right there. But no. And he, and he, he was too dedicated. This is the thing, right? We make fun of Hunter because it's easy, but, <laughs> but also because we love him. Yeah. But it's also because like he's ostensibly like the least... I don't know, like, he doesn't put out, like, a ton of content, like, he's not, like, he's just, you know, a geeky dude who likes to do his things. Yeah. But he has the most, like, <laughs> idiosyncrasies, or what, what am I thinking of? Like, the stupid things he does that don't make any sense oh, out yeah. of a lot of us. But, like, me, you, and everyone else have probably got the, the worst, like, brains, but he's got, like, just, why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> right. And just, Hunter's an enigma, is what he is. There's nothing wrong, I, I love that lad more than I love uh most people but mm -hmm. it's just some things he says i'm confused <laughs> i just get there'll just be a moment every month where he'll just say something and i'm just like yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> no no keep talking i need to hear this oh, hold on i gotta i gotta feed this i gotta feed my wife some meat feed your wife dude feed your wife uh, a whole crusade a month i don't think you can do that but still do it i mean i could but i uh wait hold on Oh, I put it in the bank, not the, not the farm. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's been actually a month since we recorded Cyber Sleuth. Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. I I made a promise to myself that I was not gonna play this game unless I'm recording because I had a problem where, you know, <laughs> in, in quarantine times, there's not, not too much to look forward to. So, uh. This game was my emotional escape for a long, long time. So I have a bad day and I yeah. just be like, Welp. I guess I'll put Cyber Sleuth on. Yep. And I had a good time, but I don't want to burn myself out with on the LPs and I got other games I got to right. play. I'm, I'm really hoping, I'm hoping this spring is the day, the, the spring where they're like, all right, you know, I don't care if it's December, but just did you want to survive? Give me something new. Right. I don't. I. I. At this point, I just want to know more. <laughs> right. And they were like, I don't. E hey, it's I'm a uh, it's gonna come out twenty twenty six. But here's a screenshot. I'd be like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's 80% done. It is coming. I'm like, okay, good. I don't even necessarily want Digimon Survive at this point. Like, I do, obviously. But if they just go, okay, Digimon Survive is, like, delayed, like, another four years, but the new Digimon Story game is coming out, great. Just give me something that I can fucking play and stream that isn't either a million years old or bored. Like, I did Rearize again. I was like, you know what? Maybe Rearize will be... We'll get back into it for the streams, and it fucking sucks. I could not do it. I, I, I commend you. We can put Ben and Jerry back in our party now that we got all that memory. Hell yeah, Ben and Jerry. You know, well, we can put Draco Malfoy too. Hell yeah, Draco Malfoy. I'm balling now. I'll swap I out. don't remember Walk. them going to Vigramon and Aquilamon. Uh, I remember Aquilamon. I do not remember Vigramon. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I... I'll put a swap out uh, Waka for Draco Malfoy, which is not something you sure. hear very often. Swap a racist for a character created by a turf. Let's go. I love those memes that are like Draco about to pronounce the P in Potter. And it's Potter. It's that guy who's like holding his breath and he goes, <gasps> Oh, yeah. Are you speaking Digi language? Mm. Be gone. Digi code. So I found out that the Digi code on the back of the D terminal is not accurate. Oh. I was very sad. Ripperoni. Oh, it's an Eater. Yeah, this uh, this is the boss that killed my first uh, hard mode run because I was like, wow, this is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this anymore. It's not very difficult in easy mode, but in hard mode, it's like. <laughs> uh, let's let's see your let's see your special attack. Let's see V Noble Blast. God damn. Has it got recoil? Or did it just hit back? 
Uh, I think it hit back. I don't. I was not paying attention. I'll be honest. Hmm. Also, uh, you told me, uh, uh, Jesus, on the thirteenth of March, that you had a story to tell me about your high school's debate team. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I remembered this a while ago, and I, I, I know you'd like it because it's ridiculous. Yes. It sounds fake, but I promise you, with every fiber of my being, this is a real thing that happened to me, okay? Okay. Uh, my high school had a debate team. It wasn't called debate team. It was called something else, but it was basically a debate team, right? Just in case anyone in my high school is watching and they're fact-checking me. <laughs> uh, but I joined, like, a week late because I, I was also in drama club, and I had drama club stuff for the first week. So second week I come in, to join, they're like, okay, we paired up in groups of three, and since you're the new guy, we'll put you in with the group of two. And I was okay with that, because I was friends with both of the other two people, right? Mm -hmm. And they, um, our, our thing we had to do was we had to decide on a just a basic topic to uh, debate another team with. And my teammates, their topics that they picked... They would not budge on these. So one of them wanted to do why marijuana should be legalized. And like, of course. you don't want to be that person in high school that says that. You don't want to. That's cringy. Right. You don't want to be that person. You don't want your teacher to be like, oh, great. There's this kid. Oh, very cool and epic, dude. And then the other one, he, he said the debate should be about why children with Down syndrome should be euthanized. What the fuck? I swear... To God, I will not. I would not lie about this, because he would not budge on that. He that's all he wanted to do, and I was like, "Can we, can we just do, can we just do why marijuana should be legalized?" I don't want to do the euthanizing kids with. What the fuck kind of eugenics Nazi were you going to school with? So two days after, uh, after that, after he was like legitimately like not budging on it, I quit because I did not want to be part. Yeah, I don't fucking blame you. Stuck between the fifth. Well, how old were you? I was. Uh, this was senior year. I was like seventeen. Stuck between the seventeen-year-old weed advocate and the person that believed dowsinger people should be euthanized. I'd probably fucking just leave school <laughs> entirely. <laughs> and uh, our friendship has not been the same since that day. Uh, I can imagine. <laughs> I... <laughs> it's just... And, like, the fact that they were insisted in, implies that, like, that's something they were thinking about for they a while. They were getting, like, like, red in the face talking about it. Like, they were so mad about it. And I'm like, what's your... What's the deal? <laughs> What is wrong with you? They're just, uh, all, ugh, just blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to repeat the things he said. They're very, very rude. Oh, my God. Uh, we're trying to think about the opposite of a shout out is like a whisper in. Whisper into that fucker. Yeah. Uh, he's in jail now, funny enough. I don't know. What a shot. I don't know for what, but he is. It would be fucking hilarious. Just remember, because we're friends. Just, <laughs> just to flip the whole thing on its head. We're friends on Facebook, and I just saw a post like a year ago saying. This is Blank's mom, just letting everyone know that Blank is currently in jail right now, and he's sentenced for, like, three to four years. <laughs> I cannot Jesus. say why, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, that's... oof. <laughs> anyway. I'm very glad that no one that I'm, like, actually friends with, not just in school, has gone to prison. I'm like, that's my standard. I'm like, okay. Man. I may know a lot of degenerates, but at least no one's gone to jail. I, I know way too many people that have gone to jail. <laughs> Former friends, mostly. Yeah, of course, mostly. Because like once you hear why someone's, you're like, I, I, I'm not saying that if you go to jail, you're a terrible person, but these no. people, they are. <laughs> yeah, they there's, are. there's you know there's there's noble reasons or reasons that are bullshit, obviously, but like usually it's like, oh yeah, shot an old lady for heroin. Okay, yeah. all right. You know, we've all been there. We've all needed some. <laughs> Dude, we, listen, right? You wake up in the morning. You're like, ah, oh, I got no H. Oh, I ah, oh, checked my fridge. There's no H in there. <laughs> oh, better go. Fucking, oh, I can't go to the H store. It's closed because of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I better go fucking shoot an old lady for some haram. Hey, hey, listen up. Which Digimon transforms its hands into axes called Bunny Blades? It's obviously Selfie Mon. Selfie Mon! <laughs> they, they always put the one that it actually is, they make it like. 
it's Antilamon, right? <laughs> they like gaslight you. Yeah. Like, is it makes it? me think it's not Antilamon, but I know it is. Cause that's one of my favorite Digimon, so ha ha. <laughs> What's the um the like the translation error on that one? It's like a quiz where it's like it's this and it's like no, it's the same oh, thing you a, said. A, a haddock. <laughs> or like <laughs> yeah. What type of fish is this? And you're like, oh, it's a headache. And they're like, no, it's a headache. And you're like, <laughs> oh. I think I can skip those side quests if I just talk to Mire, or maybe she'll tell me do the side quests. Either way, you guys talk to Mire, so exactly. it's, uh, it's on the up and up. I have wandered off and got lost. I didn't come here to see you or anything. Perhaps you should get back to your real job as a cyber sleuth. Yeah, I guess. That's cool. That's cool. You, uh, how long have you been wearing those socks for? Should I? I'll just do the sniff test. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're fine. You're good. You're fine. Okay. And do you need all your right, hair? Do you need your hair shampooed? I am a licensed shampooist. I'm, I'm down. I'm down for that. A life crisis. Oh, I... <gasps> guru I'm on. I'll, yes. I'll help him out. Have um speaking of weird, inappropriate interactions, have you uh, heard of the movie Three to Tango? No, I have not. All right. So if I told you that in the nineties, early two thousands. A movie's legitimate description was rich man pays a Chandler from Friends <laughs> to make sure his other friends don't fuck her because he thinks Chandler is gay, but he isn't. No. <laughs> yep. That's a real movie. Oh, and also, of course, he falls in love with the woman. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it's not good. Poor, poor Matthew Perry will never. Nobody from Friends will ever be able to escape Friends. Right, and then like, even when they're in good movies, it's always like they always get like. I love Seventeen again, and ironically, me too. But like, how must it feel to be like, okay, we're gonna cast you as like a shitty, <laughs> fucked up, fat version of Zac Efron? <laughs> I'd feel bad if I was Zac Efron if somebody's like, this is gonna be you in thirty years. Like, oh, you're gonna grow up to look like a bloated coke addict. How are you feeling? Oh gosh. Uh, Shout out to Matthew Perry. You're great in uh, Fall on New Vegas. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Me and, me and Maggie played through that not too long ago, um, and every time he popped up, I just could not take it seriously after I knew that was Chandler. <laughs> could I shoot you in the head any easier? <laughs> Ring-a-ding-ding, baby. <laughs> Bada-bing. Chandler-bing. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm trying to think what anyone else has done. Because, like, Jennifer Aniston is, like, in, like mm -hmm. she used to be in everything. But oh my she's god, still dude! Just, uh, horrible bosses. She's still just oh. uh, Phoebe. Ugh, Rachel. She's Ra mm -hmm. she's just Rachel from Friends. Yeah, hundred percent. I've never seen uh, either of the horrible bosses movies. Oh, dude! If you were ever, if you were the, a Rachel guy and not like a Phoebe or a Monica guy growing up, you should check out Horrible Bosses. I was a Joey guy. Oh, of course. I mean, he wasn't. Matthew LeBlanc, more like Matthew LeHunk. He was in, what was that? Lost in Space. Oh my god, he was. He, he was. He had that really cool scene where he gets like the Iron Man helmet and he kills a bunch of spiders and then he never puts that helmet on and six-year-old me was like, put it back! Put the helmet back on! <laughs> oh he god! Has the quickest. <laughs> Jesus! Oh shit! You got ambushed as well? Jesus. Uh, so Matthew LeBlanc had like the- sorry, go on. Oh, I was just like, this is a little scary because Nightmon has a move that it's like a- it's a 50% chance to hit and it either does nothing or it kills you, so... Nice. Little, we love death. A little spooky. Just as a random enemy as well, that's way too much. Yeah, I, I forgot he can show up here. This is a- if you're playing this game for the first time and you're looking for a place to grind, this quest is the best place to grind because you can't go back here after you finish this quest. But I think we're fine. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna swap out uh, our guy. That's just weak. as an update for the fake picture I posted of us recording more cyber sleuth. Uh, shout out to Shadowbreaker who replied with a gif of a kind of like embarrassed Gatamon. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like like a like a kind of sundry Gatamon. What's up, girl? How you living? How you doing? Oh God. Hit him this time, Gardramon. Okay, yeah, all right. not, not too bad, not too bad. Not I always so bad. was confused why he has the Crest of Hope on his shield. Yeah, because that would be like a really cool 
armor evolution, seeing as how he's armored. And guess what? He isn't. <laughs> uh, he's not an armored Digimon. He sure is. I could be wrong, but I, I know he, he shows up in Zero Two for sure because he tries to break the Destiny Stone. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if he has the Crest of Hope on his shield in that episode or not, but I, I remember as a kid being confused by that. Yeah. But this could be another Darkmon, Darsmon situation, so who knows. Right. I feel like there are just a few Digimon who just do have crests for, like... Like, some of them make more sense than others, like, um... Shine Greymon has the Crest of Courage on his sword or whatever, right? Something like that, yeah. Or it's supposed to look like Which, it. like... Yeah, it doesn't make a ton of sense for savers, but like, okay, Agumon, that's fine, that's cool. But there are a few Digimon that just have, like, yeah, the, the Crest of Hope on the back or whatever. I'm just like, why is that? Is there lore? Like, is Nightmon, like, Anjumon's army or something? Uh, maybe, maybe. He is one of those holy warriors or something. 